All right, guys, welcome back to Hendrickson Ridge. It's been a while since I posted, but we're gonna do a little project. We're gonna um, make a little plaque. Uh, we're gonna put epoxy in it, and we're also gonna make it usable by putting a few tea light candle holders on it. We are gonna carve that on the CNC machine. And uh, I'll try to take you step by step. And if there's any questions, let me know, but I'll, we'll start at the main computer. We'll go from there, okay? All right, guys, so the first thing we did is we designed this thing in Illustrator. You can do it in Vectric Art or any Vectric, uh, or I'm sorry, Vector programs. I use Illustrator. So this is basically, it's just 14 by 8. It's going to be a little plaque that's going straight to VCarve. And uh, VCarve takes an Illustrator file. So nothing to worry about there. We'll go over to the laptop and show you what we got going on there. All right, guys, so we're at the uh, regular laptop now. Um, the MacBooks don't support VCarve. So we're in uh, VCarve here on a regular PC. We're going to bring the Illustrator file in here and make sure everything's good with that and then we'll be sending it to the Shapeco CNC machine okay so let me get the file in here and we'll show you what's going on all right guys so I've opened up this illustrator file in vcarve now we're going to go up here to this top I'm sorry if uh, the light's getting to you, but we're going to make sure we have a single-sided. But this here, size-wise, is going to be 14 wide. And 8 high. And 0.75, which is three quarters inches. So that will be the size right there, okay? Um, now, one thing you want to make sure I go off the center usually, and I do not use an offset. For some reason in this program, the offset is on already, and you have to take it off. It will mess up your system, okay? So, what we're going to do is, uh, select all these get them in the center of our project and then we will create an SVG file and some paths for the machine to follow I'll show you how to do that all right guys so if you're not familiar with vcarve uh, just go through it real quick with you there's plenty of other uh, videos to watch about vcarve but i'll show you what i did real quick okay um i went and i grouped everything I grouped everything right here i aligned it i'm not sure if you can see that so once it's grouped, I hit this and aligned it to my material uh, that we did on the last screen, okay? So now we're going to do our paths. And our tool paths are over here. All right. But what we're not going to do all the same tool paths. We're going to use two tool paths. We're going to use one for this text and then one for the circles okay so I'll show you how to do that too hold on 
All right, so what we did was we ungrouped all of them and we went over here for that. Uh, I think this one right there. We ungrouped so that we could select just the text, okay? And then we're going to go to the tool paths and we're going to pick a V carve right here. Calculate. All right. So basically, you take the uh, undo the toolpath preview. That's basically how it will look. Okay, guys. So all we did, we opened the file back up, went over here to two, two D view. Selected the two circles, right? Not the rest. We already have a tool path for that. Went over here, and we're gonna do a pocket tool path, okay? And we're not gonna do a cup depth of seven five because that would be all the way through the board. So we will do like maybe. 0 0.5 and that's about it all right we'll select an end mill but it's not going to be an eighth inch because it will take too long we'll do a quarter inch end mill we'll select that all right so we have a quarter inch we have 0 0.5 inch cut depth all right guys so this is the preview all we did was we brought the circles down to 0 0.5 so they don't cut through the board okay and we're going to use two different bits all right so first thing we'll do is uh go over here we have our two tool paths here we're going to first just select the letter one and we are going to close that. We have the letter selected and we're going to save the tool path. Okay. It's going to save it to Shapeko. Only outputting visible tool paths right here. All right. we're going to save this <clears throat> and it's called v carve one but i'm going to organize this so i know exactly where it is okay so i'll make another spot here <clears throat> i'll make a new folder in here and we'll copy it in okay I keep everything organized so I know exactly where to find these files. Rapid position, center. Alright. So that'll be the center. We're going to line our project up kind of close to that. We'll finagle the machine when we get it set up, okay? I'll show you that. All right, guys, lunch is over. So this is what we're going to do. So we have um, some different size collets here. This was the eighth inch one I had in there. We're going to put the uh, quarter inch one in because we're going to use the quarter inch bits, okay? So that's our next step all right guys so we have the uh new call it in quarter inch 68 degree bit we're going to uh we made a center mark on that, our board we're going to line this call it up with that or the bit up with that and start carving the uh letters
we're going to load the file and we have the 60 degree bit in so we're going to go to our uh, G code and hit find our file and then the VCAR bit and we're going to open that all right so now it's in there um, pretty much ready to go we're going to turn the router on and let her go get the vacuum ready it's going to do all the letters for us okay so let's get that oh, sorry let's get that going all right guys so got everything ready got the vacuum cleaner over here uh routers in place boards in place computers ready to go we got the file loaded so just gonna hit go and uh get our vacuum i'll show you a little bit of the carving process it's a little loud but i'll show you a little bit of it and then i'll show you when it's done So let's start. We have uh, we put two camera holders, one on each side. We're gonna fill the uh, letters in with some light blue epoxy, so it's nice, nice little project. All right, guys. So we're oh, thanks. So we're ready to uh, carve our second pass, which would be the pocket holes. So. What I did was I changed the blade, got a quarter inch end mill in there. All right, and what we're gonna do over here is we went to uh, this here, this current offset, because it's already set, which brought our machine exactly over the center. So all we're gonna have to do is redo the center uh, Z axis. Right, so we'll bring our Z down until we touch. All right, so there we're touching. And so when we do the set zero this time, the X and Y are already zero. We're just gonna re-zero the Z axis like that and we're going to do that because you don't know that the blade is up deep enough or more shallow than the last blade on the uh, router okay so we'll bring her up here and then we're done so now we're going to load a new file which is the pocket one. Okay, open that, boom. Hit the run. We're gonna start the router and then hit this start button, okay? So. Pretty good. All right, just gotta sand it down. Add some epoxy, maybe round over the edges a little. Yeah, looking good. All right, guys. Next step here, um, we got the plaque off. I got some liquid glass epoxy, and um, it's uh, two parts. 
the one part. I mixed up a little bit of red, a little bit of white. I used uh, some syringe to uh, get it nice and accurate. Only added a little tiny bit of white into where the candles will be. Uh, I also used a uh, heat gun to get the air out, the bubbles off. So the only thing about this is it takes this type of epoxy it takes 72 hours to really harden completely. So uh, you got to keep the dust off. I'll sand it afterwards. Um, but yeah, that's about it. We'll check out the finished product in three days. All right, guys, so we finally finished this plaque. It's, uh, I sanded it like 220. I went all the way up to 600, sanded it real good, and then finished it off at 1200 and shot some uh, gloss shellac or uh, I forget what it was on there, but uh, yeah, it came out pretty good. So. Yep, it's gonna just sit flat with uh, two tea light candles in it. So, but yeah, look at the, came out pretty good. So, so that's about that for uh, for that. I mixed a little white in the red there, and uh, yeah, came out nice. So pretty cool. All right, so uh, next project, um, not sure. I might make another plaque or something. We'll see what's happening. Uh, but in any case, thanks for being here. I appreciate you guys. And if you have any questions, let me know.